guys, back in another new video here, Jason Moderatu, and we're just gonna show you the best settings for Vanguard, or my best settings for Vanguard, and I'm gonna break it down back to front. This is not gonna be a long video though, so just brace with me. <laughs> okay, so guys, so pretty much what I got on mine is a 6-6 six, six sensitivity, guys. Six uh, horizontal, six vertical. Normally people have it more lower. You have it more higher if you're a sniper type. Let's get to the other stuff that we have on this thing. We also got the aim response curve type on linear, guys. There's differences between between it. There's dynamic, standard, linear. I've been using linear for at least four years, so it's been working amazing. You've seen the nuke, so that's pretty much how we got that. Let's just check everything from down and up, guys. Okay, so let me tell you about the dead zone. So if you have stick drift and stuff like that for your controller, guys, you could just tweak with the dead zones and it'll fix your stick drift. But let's move on to the gameplay. You gotta have the assist on you have to have target assist on guys trust me also guys i forgot an important option too so right under target aim assist guys you gotta put your aim assist mode on precision i've been using precision for a long time and it's amazing strong slowdown when a target comes in front of you so it literally instant locks in on them ads aim assist on as well got this on a partial Got automatic tactical sprint, guys. I'm telling you, with automatic tactical sprint, you burst off instantly, guys. There's no, there's no slowing down. It's an instant sprint, and honestly, I don't stay back. I sprint, so most pro players sprint out too. So automatic tactical sprint's good. And guys, if your controller's messed up, like clicking down and running, if it's messed up, automatic tactical sprint fixes it. Cause my controller's running's been messed up for like two years, and literally it fixed it. Slide behavior type, put that on tap, guys. It's way better. Some stuff you need to hold, some stuff you need to tap, like aiming in, stuff like that, you need to hold it in, right? But if you got a slide, you want to put that on tap. Switch it up to the graphics, guys. Okay, so field of view. Let's break down the field of view, guys, okay? Got it on affected, but other than that, guys, I have my field of view on an 80. I keep it on default, which is the basic 80, guys, honestly. I did not change it at all. It says 60 there, but that's way lower, and you'll never want it to be 60, guys. Personally, pros, professionals, um, pub stompers, all those YouTubers, guys, they have it on 120. So tweak with it from 100 to 120, guys, honestly. Unless you're like me and you keep it original COD, like you didn't even want to mess up your original COD play, you would literally put it on 80. Because I have it on 80. I have 175 nukes, 176 nukes, and I have it on 80. Basic. I'm gonna make another video guys also for the elite controller the best settings on the elite controller and make you play better if you have elite series 2 but other than that no okay let's break it down guys also the best settings on demand texture stream guys turn that off that will make you lag that's why a lot of people have that packet burst guys you will want that off of your thing I normally two guys on the volume it's too loud in the game I can't focus can't hear my party I can't hear my people that I'm playing with so tweak it down guys got master volume on 65 music 40 dialogue 55 and sound 40 and I'm telling you it's perfect it's it's amazing Aud audio mix guys I have it on home theater it's actually amazing it's like because your headsets in your ears so it's like a home theater in your ears okay so perfect like that Break down to the keyboard and mouse, guys. So we don't use keyboard and mouse, right? But if you're using keyboard and mouse, this would have, this will literally how you fix your sensitivity for it. The multiplayer, every single option for the mouse and the keyboard, guys. But honestly, I use a controller. I know a lot of people that use a controller also even on PC, so it doesn't even matter. Brightness, guys. I really don't have to say it. it's on your preference. The brightness, safe zone, safe areas, also on your preference, guys. Graphics is. Um, the graphics if you want to see the graphics like changing um, what your graphics literally looks like that's on PC guys it's not on consoles so this could be a PC settings best settings for Vanguard for PC but it's really for console guys yeah that's everything for the video I only play crossplay off too guys honestly if you want to become a like let's see if you don't have a PC put crossplay off if you're like if you're not that good of a player put crossplay off trust me they'll put better people against you Xbox or PlayStation itself is way easier than PC added on with you guys guys Okay, and let's break this down too. got tap to reload Slide behavior got tap These are all the basic stuff. So if you keep it on default naturally, it'll put it the same way there naturally didn't really change the bottom stuff But guys pretty much that is the video on best settings for Vanguard. These are my settings I broke down pretty much what other people use to on it, but this is just what I use. 
it works perfect for me and you know I'm a good player by seeing my videos but hope you enjoy that video guys more to come take it easy